everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel, my studio. I don't, now I forgot what I used to say. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Hey, I'm live today. It's great to be here with you. I love my dancing. It's the only cardio I get during the day. And that's, you know what? You got to work it in in small amounts. So that was two minutes out of 30. So good for me. Good for me. And good for you. Welcome, everyone. It's great to see you all here, seeing the comments come in. So many familiar names out there. I see Pamela. I see Anne. I see Robbie. I see Gina K. What? Gina K. Gina K is here. So the pressure's not on because Gina doesn't make pressure. Gina makes inspiration. And I don't know if how many or how many of you uh, saw last night's uh, Jennifer Gina live, but I'm sitting there watching and I'm like, Jennifer McGuire, what the heck? Um, so that's, that's going to inform what I'm doing today. So I'm very excited because here's the thing. I, I have great supplies and sometimes I get so caught up in showing all the latest and greatest because that is part of my job. I forget to come back and play with the things that are so fun. And that's what I'm doing today. I got the, I got the wreath builder. Now here's the thing. I literally placed an order last night for the new wreath builder because I like that it has, um, Gina just updated the design and it has this center grin on it. So that is coming, but today let's go to the table as we're going with a classic. We're going with the classic wreath builder. Now the one I'm using today is the one with the four inch opening. Okay. And because I watched Jennifer do this last night, I am so excited to try this. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. We got a four inch piece, just cardstock, and I'm just going to stick it in here. And now I have to change my glasses or I'm not going to be able to see a thing. Also, I'd like to say, uh, welcome to everyone who's joining. I am Kathy Zilski and I am actually live today. A lot of videos I share on my channel are premieres, but this is live. So you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Hopefully we emerge with a card, but here's what we're going to do. So I have, oh, and here's a couple other things. I have this love you trio. And if I remember, thanks to my, oh, Jennifer goats in the house. Is that how a goat sounds? I have no idea. Jennifer sounds nothing like that. Um, but Jennifer, this is today. This is all you. Um, I do have another video where I used this and I love it. And you know what? Hold on just a second. I need, it's really nice out today, but you know what? <laughs> Mama's starting to sweat. As soon as, as soon as my glasses start to steam up, that's when I realized, uh, yeah, you bought this air conditioner for a reason. Okay. 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 Um, but I will link to the video where I used this set, the Love You Trio, and I'm really excited to see if this will work with what I want to do today. So I also have this stamp set. Now I got this as a bundle way back when, but this is the Create Friendship stamp set. Kelly Dubeck, you are too much, but thank you. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, okay, here's the thing. If I miss a comment or a question, you know, I'll save some time at the end, but you can always pop them into the comments too, because I don't, um, I don't always look up all the time when I'm here. So, uh, you know, Jennifer can answer the questions. I don't know if she's going to be around for a while, but Jennifer, it's on you. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, but I'm not going to make you do that. Okay. I am going to use stamps from this set today. And not the stencils, right? I'm just going to stamp. And what I'm doing, I don't even think it's meant to be layering, but the idea, I want it to be. Yeah, okay. <sighs> all right. So Jennifer, this is for you. Gina, this is for you and all my friends. Okay. First of all, we need to talk about this tape runner. It's the best. I have such an enormous stash of this tape runner. I ran out last night because I was working on some cards and I ran down to the basement because I have this really scary old cabinet. If if some of you remember my scrapbooking years, it I used it for scrapbooking. I have like six packs of Gina's tape. So I'm never going to run out, at least not for a while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this four inch piece of cardstock to be the holder like Jennifer did last night. Okay for this project. So all I'm going to do is just take three swipes of tape because this will come off just fine. And just like Jennifer did, we're going to line it up so that we can see the squares, the little, see how those squares stick out. 
top bottom. I think, I think that my friends is pretty much golden. See how that's equal? Now we're gonna press. Now we're gonna press. And here's the beautiful thing. You know the, this thing, the misty. You can have things hang out. And this is why last night, when I saw Jennifer do this, I was like, what? <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked and amazed. So let's start out with this stamp. Now here's the thing, you know when you, you can make bigger cards that, with this approach and that's really what I wanted to do. I, I loved seeing how Jennifer's wreath just exploded out of the space and I think that is just the coolest look. So here's what we're gonna do. We have some ink colors today. I'm going to use my light carnation and my medium carnation. I also am gonna use dark carnation. So this is a trio of inks from Jennifer that are, <laughs> you guys are like the same person from Jennifer. This is from Jennifer. Um, I just coined, I just coined something. It's a mic drop moment. When you watch the live that I've got linked below, it's Jennifer's video. Okay, we're gonna use these Gina K inks and a few others, okay. So let's get started. Now here's the thing, you forget, if you haven't wreath built in a while, see how this is stuck to this? Okay, so this becomes the apparatus, right? And I do have this taped down, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna just start wreath building with light carnation. And because I, you forget how fun and relaxing it is. Let's get that right there so my face is, Jennifer, I'm telling you. Where's my thing? Gina Fur. She's my favorite. She has the best of both worlds. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I may have to start again, but I don't think so. Magnet. Don't forget your magnet. All right. We're going to ink this up really well. Bring it down and press. Okay. Gina Fur. Okay. Now, we're going to do what Jennifer did and Gina Fur. We're going to pick it up. Actually, you know what? Jules. Betty, thank you so much for the super chat. We're gonna pick it up and we're gonna rotate it and put it right back in there. Slap down our magnet and this can hang out. Oh, that really hurt. Hold on a second. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I literally just poked myself. Let's clean it off. Let's put some alcohol on it. Hold on just a second. Oh my gosh. Ow. The reason we're putting alcohol on it is because I just stabbed myself. I think we're gonna be okay. That is just, like I said, you would never see this in a, well, we <laughs> we might need a Band-Aid. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna, hold on just a second. Uh, is that gonna keep bleeding? I'm gonna send a text real quick. Oh, he has notifications. Hey, can you grab me a Band-Aid, a small one? <laughs> we're, we're starting out great. Okay. I don't think it's going to keep bleeding. Let's... <laughs> I think... Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. We're going to just go around. We're going to go around the mountain. First aid, if the blood keeps coming, I literally just stab myself. The only... <laughs> Are you calling Dan? Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. You know, the clotting mechanism will kick in. And uh, even if there is a tiny bit of blood on this project, um, I, think, I think we're fine. So as you can see, I'm, uh, well, Jennifer, I have them in the bathroom, but I really don't, you know, the goal wasn't to get up and walk around. All right, we're gonna be fine. All right, we're gonna be great, but look at how we're taking our little floral and we're working our way around and we're making some magic. And here's the thing, you know, I have a number of wreath builder kits, right? From when Gina first released the wreath builder and they're small and they're, I know you need to be, these are very sharp. That's all I'm gonna say, there we go. Um, you know, you would make wreaths with really cute little things, right? Well, what's great about watching Jennifer do this last night is like, wait a minute, you can make bigger stamp wreaths and they can, you know, hang off the edge. And, and the answer is yes. I hope I didn't, no, no, we're good. 
All right, we're just gonna keep <laughs> going around. Gina, fed you Gina, I see you're late, but trust me, the only thing you've met or missed is a little bit of blood. There will be blood. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay, point that that way. I feel good, blood's already stopped. If Dan brings me a Band-Aid, it's just a bonus for you all to get to see him. Okay, so I'm working my way around, right? And here's the thing, um, if you saw Jennifer's video last night, you know, depending on where you start your stamp, your wreath is going to look different pretty much every time that you do it. And I think that's actually really cool. So we're just doing it, we're going around. <laughs> well, here's the thing, did I already mention, I, I haven't had a tetanus shot update. And every time I go in, they tell me, um, you wanna get your tetanus shot? And I'm always like, I know it really hurts. So the answer is probably no. And the reality is, I, every time I poke myself with the blade, I think that's it, the tetanus is coming. Tetanus is coming. But we're not here to talk about diseases. We're here to just stamp out our wreath. See how big this is? And, and yeah, that concept of a design that explodes out of the space. Part of why I love to crop my designs so much is I love to create this visual tension of something kind of exploding beyond the border of what is, you know, what is actually being stamped. So, well, gosh, Kathy, we got, is that the next, did I get the last one? I think, nope, I turned it too far. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Tell ya. Highly trained professional. Okay. Yeah, you know, I am going to get it. That's why I sprayed alcohol on it right away. So there you go. Okay. Are they roasting me? I don't, you know, see, that's just it. I wish sometimes that I did have like, oh, Dan sitting. Oh, no, that's fine. I wish I had Dan sitting in the background like Tom, but he's just, he's, he's, yeah. He's not gonna do that. Okay, this is round one. And now take a look at this, lift this up, and we're gonna lift and show you how that starts out looking. Is that funky? It's like so cool. And now, all right, we're gonna... We're back. Can you hear me again? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. I'll wait until I get the thumbs up. Um, okay. I think, uh, are we back? Hold on. The mic is on, so I'm just going to wait until it says that it's showing up. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, that is why I absolutely hate my magic mouse, because if I sweep my hand over it, then all of a sudden, I just accidentally tapped off the sound. Okay, I tell you what, I tell you what. Okay, here's what we're gonna do though. Gina, I don't know if you answered that, but I am gonna use this stamp as a layering stamp because I think this is gonna be cute and fun, okay? All right, uh, I want to go with the darker and this is the medium carnation, okay? Now that, now that you can hear me again, oh, I tell you. But here's the thing, on this one, I'm not gonna double stamp because I want it to look a little rustic. So we're gonna do just one at a time. I know, I'm sorry, I have to, oh, you know what I could use? Actually, this is much safer. I'm gonna use my craft pick. <laughs> okay, 
Because <laughs> you know what? I've never drawn blood with my Gina K pick and stick, so there's no need to start now. Okay. All right. Medium carnation. This is just adding a little depth to the flower. Yeah, see that? I feel really smart right now. Because even though it's not technically, right? It's not technically a layering stamp. Because it's not like you're filling in anything, you know. Um, but here we go. We'll get this, we'll get this going. Yes, yeah, so the craft pick, it's not going to hurt me. It's not going to hurt me. All right. But see how just doing the one pass, right? I wanted it to be a little more solid with the light carnation. And we're going, oh, don't move. There we go. We're getting in there. But see how that, that paper, honestly, I didn't know you could do this. I did not know. And so Jennifer, I want to thank you for that good idea because think of how many stamps you have. Think of how many, right? And this is just one stamp that, yeah, I, I was digging through stamps and I thought, well, here's a set that I haven't used uh, in a while. And so we're giving it a little look. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to ask for trouble. I just, you know, but I am, I am sweating profusely, which I don't, I don't usually do on my lives, but, um, you know, cause I, <laughs> cause I'm a highly trained professional. I think losing the sound, that was, that was the final, you know, well, you know what I mean? Okay. Magnet. Well, I guess I don't even need the magnet cause I'm not double stamping, but, um, well, yeah, you could hurt yourself, but I find that I have poked myself a lot with my pen blade, but not with, uh, with the craft pick. Now, yeah, craft pick, craft picks my friend. See how pretty this is? It's coming together. Love it. All right. I almost feel like it's got like a, a truffle a tree vibe. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Kind of does. Kind of feel like I'm looking at a little truffle a tree. Um, okay, see, point and lift. There we go. I just don't use my nails for anything. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty religious about that. The nails are, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Now bringing this in and press. So we just created another layer, right? But with just a little bit darker ink and that. I'll zoom in a little because I think it's, uh, I think it's really cool. It's not fun. But we're not done. Wait, there's more. Okay. All right, coming back out here. So next, let's wipe this off. And I'm going to put a center in. Yes, it's the tools, not jewels. I just, you know, I just want to, I want to keep the mani fresh. Got to keep it fresh. I love not having to worry about chips and painting all the time, even though I absolutely love to paint my nails. But Okay, so I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna do the little one. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me make sure we're in our starting position. And I'm gonna stamp little centers in here. Uh, maybe like, doesn't really matter. Um, like that, okay? Gonna pick it up. Let me see here. Oh, you know what? I, I can point that up a little more towards the top of the, there we go like that. The blood has stopped. I'm going to live. It's going to be great. All right, let me see. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Anyway, welcome everyone. Uh, yes, Rosie, it is Dazzle Dry and uh, I've been wearing it for 13 months exclusively and I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Uh, the dimensions of this wreath builder, this is the one with the four inch opening. And so my cardstock here is <laughs> four inches. And uh, that's that's the thing that I'm using as my template, okay, to turn on. Tiffany, I'm telling you, dude, you got to check it out because I, yeah, I was having some issues too. And uh, I gave Dazzle Dry a whirl and well, I always link my color but now I'm an affiliate and that's very exciting for me. Okay, I've grabbed my dark carnation cube. So we are going a little monochromatic with this and we're just gonna add centers to these blooms, just like that. I'm not, 
<laughs> whoops, I'm not going to double stamp. I'm just going to pick it up and again, move, move into place. I don't technically need the magnet, but you know what? I kind of love it. All right. Just to add a little tone on tone color in there. And that's it. Now, yeah, okay. Here's the thing though. I don't, I don't know yet if I'm going to do greenery. I don't know because I, I will tell you, I don't often play around with things before I do a live, but, but I did today because I wanted to prove to myself that I could make this work. And uh, I got, I got a little carried away with some things and then I started mist stamping and Here's the thing. I think this is so cool just by itself um, that, you know, I think uh, I think I might just leave it as is. Oh, Vicky, my bestie. Oh, I hope everything's OK. Just popped up and saw that. Heather Cole. Good question. Do I keep every stamp set that I buy or and I will let I will say I get so many things for free. Um, that is one of the perks of being able to work in this industry now. And believe me. I am always grateful. Um, I'm always grateful. Do I keep them all? No, I do not. I tend to keep the things that I really like a lot. Um, obviously the wreath builder, that, that's not going anywhere. You know, and I keep all my little wreath builder sets. Um, I keep stamp sets that I think I will use again, but the reality is I don't have, uh, I don't have room. I mean, I really don't, as if you've seen my studio tour, and if you haven't, um, I invite you to watch it. I'll add that link after the live. Everything has a place with very little uh, room to go. Uh, Nicole, this is the Create Friendship uh, stamp set from Gina K Designs. All right, uh, one more to go. And then, wait, I think I got a little, there we go. Okay. So no, I don't, I can't keep it all. I can't keep it all. I keep everything that I design, however, that's part of my collection. Um, because you know, it's, it's my stuff. Unless of course it gets discontinued, which does, it does happen. Simon cannot keep everything in stock all the time. So we're going to do this. Oh, Dan, um, can, Dan. <laughs> Dan, bring it here. Don't get, he doesn't want to be on camera, which is hilarious. Okay, he, he brought the band-aids. He just, he flung them at me. Oh my gosh, okay. But yes, Jennifer, purging feels good. Okay, we're going to lift this up now. And that's, I'm not going to do any more of this yet. So just hold tight. Uh, Jennifer says, hi, honey. All right. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to take this off yet before I move on because I have an idea. So let's set this aside. Um, let me grab my dies, okay, because I want to see something before I unhinge all of this. I have somewhere here, okay, I have a piece of cardstock and I also have a piece of white cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I want to cut out, let's see here. Let's get this out. Um, <laughs> does losing supplies count? You know, it's, here's the thing. I I, I did lose, I, I feel like somewhere in this uh, transition to moving upstairs, I think I did have the updated wreath builder because I was 100% sure I had it. And then when I went and looked, um, it, it was not there. Okay, little, little side note. I am in the middle of a plate test and I am testing out the six by nine plates uh, and the sandwich recommended by Crafter's Companion with the new Gemini 2. I also have this plate sandwich, the Jennifer McGuire's inspired, because I literally would not have learned about this, green plate plus cutting plate. And I'm doing a 30 day test. When the test is over, I'm going to give you the results of on my channel of what the sandwich that works but I can tell you this right now. <laughs> this is what these plates look like right now. And I'm telling you, um, Jennifer, your plate sandwich works on the new, uh, with the new plates too. So what we're gonna do, actually, 
I'm going to cut this because I don't want to waste or I don't want to get any impression on here. So uh, we're going to put you over here. I'm going to cut out the delicate love because this this is so cute okay this little guy and i'm gonna cut this out even though i'm not sure i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this yet then you put down that which i'm a little confused by and then you put this down and i rotate every single time okay so every time no i rotate the bottom plate every single time i talked to someone um here's my die cut camp at crafters companion um, who works with them and she gave me some tips so listen to how quiet it is though i do i do appreciate this here we go i mean it's not like pin drop quiet but it's yeah also um I love that it doesn't shoot out the back anymore, okay? But I'm still in the testing mode for this. Um, the big plates are just too big for me. Um, I just don't have enough things that I cut at once. But like, okay, these do cut beautifully. Now let's do the old, there you go. Uh, let's get our letters out because what I don't know yet is which one. Oh, I need the center to that though. I don't know what I'm going to use yet out of these um huh i think i just lost the zero no i didn't it's right there all right so we have these go like that you just came out and there you are because i want to use see okay here's the thing see how that impresses all of what's on here i don't i don't love that that's why i like the uh the other sandwich which we'll use to cut out some more here we go it just came out it does work okay hold on we're getting it there we go look okay the cut is fantastic though that is just beautiful so I'm gonna set this right here for now because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet with this card um, and I may oh look at that though I may actually need some greenery but we'll see so let's set this sandwich aside and then, oh, here's another thing that I think is kind of cool. You know, they show this little upper thing um, for, you know, you can put your iPad there. I just put my plates up there, which I actually think that's really cool. Um, and yes, Jennifer has a good point. All, all machines need plate replacement. But here's the thing. I just, okay, I just flipped this over and set you there too because i'm not 100 percent sure so on the back side of this and jennifer tells in this one video which again i always link to it when people ask but you tape it on all four sides and you only cut into one then this side which that's actually a boo-boo that wasn't supposed to happen there this becomes the top plate and stays nice and smooth and clean and then here we go now another machine that I have not ever tried. Oh, do I want to? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to cut this a couple times. I have never tried the Anna Griffin machine and I've heard nothing but good things about it. However, let's go back here. I'm going to run this through. My Gemini Junior has been a great machine for me. Um, all right, let's do this. Now, I did try a magic mat once, and um, it just, I couldn't get it. Oh, look, I just got some of my hair in there. That's great. I never quite got it to work. I always had to uh, heat it up. Oh, there we go. Well, let's keep going. See, this? these plates do not have as much pressure. I know, I know I need to get one of those bowls. Believe it or not, somewhere in my space, I actually have one. I just don't know where it, I don't know where it went to. Okay, there's an extra. I don't know why I'm going so small here with the stacking, but we got to stack it up. Yeah, it's alive, you know. You're gonna you're gonna do some things. All right. I think I like the idea of having. Let's get that zero. The U. Make sure all these things. You know, it would be helpful right now to pick up some of these things and put them in here 
I want to have a little dimension, so we're probably going to do a little spray glue. Um, and there's that. Let's do one more. All right. How's everyone doing out there? Yeah, Jennifer, I know, really loves her Empress. Um, and uh, Christina, my friend, uses that machine. You know, I love my Spellbinders machine. I just, I just have wrist issues, and so when I am able to not crank with my wrist, um, I just don't. All right, we're going to run this through again. Oh, I should have flipped it, but I didn't. Yes, Gina, I really appreciate the people at Crafters Companion. In fact, they told me um, they just really appreciated the fact that I show my Gemini Junior in like so many of my videos. Um, I just do it because it's fun to have the die cut cam. And uh, yeah, they've, they've been wonderful to, to me to send this. And the thing is, the cuts are great. Like, I mean, you know how delicate this little die is. Oh, come here. You know, because you designed it. It's beautiful and it's very delicate. So it cuts beautifully. And I just do it sometimes to loosen. Um, so let's do that one more time. We'll pop it out. That's why we have the pokey end. Gentle, 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 gentle. And oh, I think that's enough. I don't think we need more than this. But why don't we, while we're thinking about it, get this out and get this one out too. All right. It's so delicate. There we go. All right. We have our centers. We have our words. And we're going to sweep those out because I'm not going to use the center letters, okay? And I think for a second I'm done with die cutting, although I may... I may do a little more. So now, before I get too carried away, I'm going to put these in here and drop them in. But yeah, here's the thing. If you have a machine that you love, right? Um, and I've been using a Gemini Junior since I bought it, which was, I don't know, about five, five years ago. I bought it pretty soon into my card making journey. And once I learned um, about what Jennifer's sandwich was again. I wish I could. I wish I could say I did the testing. Yeah, she did all the testing. Yeah, uh, it has just been a golden, a golden setup, right? But again, knowing that you have to actually replace plates, they are a consumable. All right, couple things I got to grab here. Um, I need something here. I need a mask. I need a box. I need spray glue. Where's my box? Okay, hold up. There we go. Okay. So I am going to use spray glue for this and let you, let you in on a little secret. Okay, here's the box. Uh, I am going to take my shiny gold. The only reason I don't want to use um, liquid glue is because there's just no way. So here's the thing. We're going to take these and... <laughs> Let's get these other ones. We're going to take these and I'm just going to set this on the floor and add a tiny bit of uh, craft bond. Oh, I just sent it flying. And I'm going to put my mask on because it's just, you don't want to breathe this in and you don't want to have it near your things. So hold on just a second. Get it. Got a mask up. Here we go. I'm going to turn around. We're going to spray. Oh, shoot. It flipped. Okay. Woo! There we go. Okay. All right, so see, that's uh, that's what I do. All right, now let me get uh, oh, a piece of paper. Okay, I have to do this on a piece of scrap paper, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. And I hope I didn't screw it up, but let's, let's take this 
and it's very delicate. Come here now. We just want to have a little dimension. So once you get one end started, let go. Just kind of squeeze it together like that. Okay, come here. Very, very dainty. I love it. Now, spray glue does not, it's not as forgiving. It really, it's a little fussy, but I like it because it's fast and it does, it typically does not come apart. All right, let's get you. And flip you around. Oh my goodness, how are we doing out there? Okay, I like that people are having good conversations while I'm concentrating because this is a, you know, this is not a beginner lineup, right? This is, we are going for the gusto here, or the gusto. Uh-huh, now, see that little guy? And even if it's a little off, it's really not a big deal. Um, I am going to put my brick on here. This is my share handmade kindness block. And I love this thing. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with it because it's so much heavier than a glass block and or than an acrylic block, but I absolutely love it. So Jennifer, I, I think these are really, really fun. Okay. Now pick up this friend and stack this up. I hope this ends up working. Okay. Yeah, spray cans, again, I, I mask up, it's in my office, I don't, I should be doing it outside, but I don't have, oh boy, that didn't want to work, I don't have a patio, and I think I just messed this up, but that's okay. There we go. You can use your tweezers to kind of dislodge and then replace and get it lined up, like that, okay, and we'll put this on top. All right, there's our pretty gold one. Okay, and oh yeah, and then there's that Ulta new double-sided. You know, they're just things that I forget that I have and then I get into a, a way of doing something, you know? All right, so love you. Now keep in mind, I have the centers for the U. I don't think I need those letters, but I wanna try something. And I might not do it, but I might. We'll see. I have, where's my Gina? There we go. Okay. I may do some cropping. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I have my Master Layouts 1. And I guess, okay, here's the thing. I don't think I'm going to add greenery because I love how this just kind of feels like a pattern paper. Oh, centers for the O, um, because the U already has its little dip down in there. So I think I'm going to release the hounds. I'm going to release the hounds, so let's do it. Now see, you come up with the tape. There's a little on the back if that bothers you, which it's no big deal because I'm going to put, you know, uh, tape on the back here. You can just pick it up with an adhesive eraser. Okay, like that. See, I think that's really cool. All right, let's get a note card prepped. I have a piece of card stock. Mm. So how many of you out there do have the wreath builder and are thinking, Wh what? I, I too want to do, like, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so fun. And of course the new one would be really cool because of how easy it would be to place things in the center and oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna make a note card and this will be a top folding. Last night I saw Jennifer, um, I don't know if Gina asked top fold or side fold and Jennifer was like top fold all the way, baby. I like top fold too because this, um, this orientation to me is just, it's like what I've, worked with my whole print career as a print graphic designer. Now, my cardstock, this is Nina Solar White Classic Crest. It's off. And for those of you who've been watching my channel lately, I bought an entire ream from the mill and the whole the whole ream is uh, cut wrong. And by the time, see how it's off here? By the time I figured it out, it was like, it's too late to return it. I'm, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've already got it. So what, what am I gonna do? Now, 
I could put this right onto the note card, okay? And let's zoom in here a little. Or, or I could trim it down ever so slightly. Now here are the mats, um, or the, the dies from the master layouts. Here's the beautiful thing. So one of them makes a mat for the other one. So this is the uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then this one is the five, wait, what one is that one? The five and one eighth maybe by three and seven eighths. Um, I don't know if I want to crop this down a little. See, I like that it, I, I, I think I'm, I don't know. Would you trim it? Would you trim it down so then you had that little lip like that? Hmm. Good question, right? Because which one is the smaller one? I always have to hold them, Gina, because I can never, I can never remember. There we go. That's the smaller one. So I kind of like the smaller one, right? Because then it's going to give me a little. Would you cut it out? No trim or trim. I'll take a drink of my water. Vicki, what? Hello, Tim Holtz. Hello, Laura. Hello, Gina and Jennifer. Let's let's see what refreshment tastes like. Mmm. That's fantastic. Oh boy, we've got equal no trim and trim. See, here's the thing. Jennifer didn't trim, and that's what I'm trying to decide. Like, do I not trim? Let me show you this, okay? Let's take these off. Now I realize my wreath is quite big, but here's how long the love, the love you is. Oh my gosh, this is so, in, I love this. Oh my gosh, it's so different. Okay, stop sticking in my hands. See, if we come in, right, then we have, yeah, gosh. I like a little trim. You know, I could do a poll. Gosh, I totally didn't think to put a poll up. Huh. Let's look at that. It's still going to explode, right? You got a little on the top and a little on the bottom. Mm, you know what? You know how I like a little trim. I'm going to trim. And, and you know, here's the thing. It's just paper, right? It's like there's no, there's no wrong or right. Oh, trim and matte and gold. Amy Hoffman. That's brilliant. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, you just came up with the, the winning idea of the day because I think that would be beautiful. All right, let's see if it works. So we're going to lift you up off here. Flip you guys off for now. I'm going to cut this out really quick. And this time I will do the flip. Okay. But I'm not going to, I'm going to angle it a little so I don't get the speed bump, pop it out, run it through. Okay. Oh yeah, we're popping this up. Well here, and the beautiful thing is, the thin gold frame is gonna be fantastic with master layouts. One, be okay, that's really pretty. Hold on here, where's my, where's my pick? We got, we're running out of space here, hold on. <gasps> Okay, so now you have that, but see it. Okay, but it's also beautiful with the with the white. Um, yes, I know the poll can be done, but I have to do it on the other computer. Sometimes if I have more, so that's the bigger one, right? Yep. Sometimes if I have more time uh, when I'm waiting for something to draw, I will do one. But uh, okay, let's get another piece of that gold. I'm going to have to cut some. Let's see. Okay. Hold on, friends. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is good news. So I have all of my matte gold in one of these little Simon pockets. What time is it? Oh, we're still doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to take this out. And I am going to make sure that I cut a center out. In fact, you know what I should do? Even though I'm not sure what I will do with it, I'm going to cut this little friend out of the center. Hold on. There's a whole bunch of little guys in here that I have to get out. I think I used this. Let me poke these out. I used this for something with silver. But yes, we're going to do a thin gold frame. 
And then I'm going to cut this out and just stick it in my uh, scraps so that if I need a beautiful gold frame, gosh, there's so many in here. I didn't clean this the last time I used it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. That way we're not wasting the center, right? I'm going to do that. So let's do it. Oh, but we need the other die. <laughs> I'm running out of space here. All right, here we go. Let's get the larger one. My stomach is growling. Okay. Uh, right? That's the bigger one. Yep. Okay. Popping it on. And then I'm going to tape it right here just so it doesn't shift and no one's gonna see that gold, but then we'll have this beautiful frame afterwards. All right. But this time I'm going to flip it blade side up. So I do, when I'm using this sandwich, that is what I do. Oh my, I didn't, I didn't angle it. Oh, there we go. That was a hot potato, okay. All right, now let's take a look at our beautiful, oh my gosh. Look, I mean, look at that cut. Look at that, almost every single one just dropped out. So, I mean, the pressure on this machine is really nice. That's gorgeous. And I'm gonna set you, well, over here. Okay, so this is what we want though, right? We just want this piece. I've got tape all over me. Now let's see what this looks like with just that thin gold frame. Oh, I think that's really pretty on the white. Yeah, we do it, right? Thin gold frame for the win. Okay. I'm sorry, there's tips and I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing the tips. Oh, come here, come here, poke, poke and stick. Okay, so I will clean all this up later. And now let's get our, <laughs> I'm crazy tape man. Do you remember that from Saturday Night Live when Adam Sandler was crazy tape man or something? That was his Halloween costume. All right. Okay. Let's get some, we, we, we like it, right? The little, the little friend in there. Okay. Cause we're going to have to put in some shiny things too. Cause my wreath is pretty big and my, um, oh, what do you call it? My, Greeting is very small and delicate, but where did my tape runner go? I know you're here. I know you're here somewhere, Gina. There you are. I meant sometimes I just called my tape Gina. Gina, I love you, Gina. All right. See, and now I don't have to worry. This will go on right nicely. All right. Like that, right on the edges. And I'll just do a little there, there, there. I don't know. It, it'll be fine. Here we go. Now, I don't really think it matters if there's a top or a bottom, but I think I'm going to stand up over this. So my head is probably maybe going to get in the way just a tiny bit. Maybe not. There we go. That looks good. Oh, baby. Does that look good? I love it. All right. Okay. Now let me get some foam tape. If you've got it, pop it, you know, pop it up. All right. <laughs> oh, just the tape runner. Can I tell you a story about Gina? I want to tell you a story. I've told the story before, but when I started making cards, I, w I went back and watched Gina's videos from so long ago, like from different sets, from different eras of her life. And I, you know, if you... <laughs> If you've noticed in my videos, I always start out by showing the supplies. Well, who do you think I copied? Who do you think I copied? Gina, I just, for me, as a new card maker, it was always so comforting to see her, you know, start out by saying, here's what I'm going to use. Here's the supplies that I'm going to use. Yeah, no, there's nothing crazy. Like one time Gina and I were at a strip club. No, there's none of that. There's just, it's just, you know, I, I love the way she teaches and I really modeled some of my channel after, well, the intros of my channel after Gina, because I, I think that, you know, I want to, I want to be a good teacher too. I want to help people who are new at card making, especially because I was too, you know, and, uh, 
yeah, that story's for another day. But let's just say Gina ended up on stage. No, I'm just, I just made that up. Um, okay, you know, I'm going to stand up again. And we are going to pop this down. Now, this time you will see my head. There it is. And there's no, there's no shame in that gray game. Uh, okay. We're going to commit. And I think that actually looks really good. Oh, what did I get over there? All right. That is so fun, right? A little shine. So here's the thing. When you do a wreath, it doesn't have to be, oh, that is true. One time. One time, Gina and I were at Punch Pizza. You know, Gina, Dan and I were talking about that the other day. Not that particular time, but we haven't been to Punch in a really long time. And gosh, I love that place. All right. So what I love about this is that this reaches the wreath. We're going to go right in the center. And I know this is like there's a lot of open space in here, but I think it's going to work. So let me get... Oh, what? Where is the tea... Oh, Okay. I'm going to put the center in here, but this time I will use my liquid glue, which is my connect glue. And I also always keep different tweezers for gluey things. So if I'm using spray adhesive, I do not use the same because the spray adhesive ones get super, super um, sticky and I clean them pretty regularly. But all right, we're just going to put a little connect glue and I have mine in my little squeeze bottle. And I just use a little stainless steel pen or pin. Um, I just took the topper off that came with it and they, they work fine. Um, I know some people, if your pen, pin isn't stainless steel, mine came off of a little gift that someone gave me and it, you know, it just works pretty well. All right, let's bring in our T-square uh, and kind of figure out where we're gonna drop it right about here. And that way I know if I'm lining it up right there, pressing against the edge here, that's going to be perfectly straight. Okay. Love it. Going to block it up for a second here and press. How's it going out there? Gina, Gina just ordered 10,000. Oh my gosh. You know what? Worth every penny. Worth every penny. This is the glue people. This is the glue. Look what, I, well, I always keep the big bottle, right? Cause I can't run out. And uh, yeah, it's, it's my favorite glue. And you know, it's funny, five years ago, I six years ago, seven years ago, I didn't have a favorite glue, but now I do. And uh, I'm gonna talk about it to anyone who wants to listen. Okay, now we can add the center to our O. And for those of you um, nerds, those of you uh, design nerds, these are called counters. And I need to make sure I'm going the right side up because you know there's a right side and a wrong side and the centers of letters are called, oh, my finger is so sticky. They're called counters. So you put your counter in there. Now you wouldn't have to have the center in there. See, this is where I like to have the pick and stick. The pick and the stick. Um, but I, li I like it. I, I think it's graphic to not have it, but I kind of love it to have it too. So it can go, it can go either way. I'm going to pop this little guy in there like that. Okay. Place, wiggle. I mean, it's actually a really simple design, but I think, I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. And yeah, I just, the wreath builder, revisit your wreath builder, or if you don't have one, what are you waiting for? Get one. They're fun. I mean, it's such an affordable tool too. You know, there's a lot of tools out there that are very pricey and they're great too. But um, yeah, it's a smart, smart, smart design. Okay. So now, right, we've got that on there. I don't think I shifted it when I put the block. Oh, I did shift it a little. Let's push you up a little like that. So now I have my center to my U and... Let's add our love. Okay, here we go. Pokey tool. Yes, I I love my I love my pick and stick. It's a great little tool. It's pretty. It's nice and pretty on my table. All right, we're just putting the smallest little dots, and that is something that I also love about this bottle is when you get you can really control the pressure. And you can get the tiniest dots of glue. 
And of course, then when you have the glue, you have the wiggle room. And I like, I like to have a, a split second before I have to commit, so. And every time I finish gluing, by the way, I will often just take a, a piece of towel or whatever I've got laying around, just clean it off, you know, I, and then give it a little whack and then stick it in. Yeah, the Reef Builder, it's a genius tool and it's fun. Um, it's just, yeah, it's so fun. Look at, look at this. I got my truffle trees. I feel like they look like truffle trees. I think it's so stinking cute. Okay. Now we've got love you placing that down now. Oh, you know what I thought about, but it's too, it is too late. Yeah, it's fine. I could have spattered on some, um, oh, I should have done that. I have this, uh, really cool, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at, I'll show you. I'm at a loss for words. I should have done it before and I didn't. This stuff is so cool. Brutus Monroe, aqua pigment and gilded. Um, I should have done that first because it would have looked really pretty. But you know what? Live and learn. There's always, there's always another card. And see, that's what's kind of cool is that, you know, it could look different every time you do it. Uh, all right. I'm going to open this up like that and let's just see because I feel like I feel like we do need to add a little shine in and around so let's get this uh, yep no nope, you have it on the wrong side Kathy also if you don't have this tool and you want to get it silver means pokey silver side and the white end means that you have your wax tip and you can get replacements for this too which is nice because I stepped on mine <laughs> once and uh well you know that's gonna happen Okay, so I think maybe let's try some big ones. Maybe a couple here. Those might be too big. You know what? We're taking those off. Let's go smaller. And that is why I love having uh, smaller sizes and bigger sizes. I'm just going to throw some down. I hear, <laughs> I hear people. Uh, I'm going to throw some down and we're going to see what, see what we think. Because we may, oh, that one does not look good. Get out of there. Let's see. How are we doing out there, everyone? You, you going to get crafty later today? Is that, is that on tap? Because that, you know, uh, I don't know yet about this. Something's wacky on that one. Let's get another little one. Or, or would, would gold, um, I want to show you this because I, I feel like there may be a difference in what I'm doing here. Would it be better with gold pearls? Now I know, I know it's kind of like splitting hairs, but let me get um, another small one here. Like that. I would only do five actually. What do we think of that? I don't want to take away from the, and I know I could, I could cover things up and splat on. Let's see like that. What do we think? You know what, Gina? I want to see what they look like. I know it's it's funny because sometimes, and I am so into these right now. Uh, get you out of there. Let's see the pearls. I wish, and I don't have more of the baby babies, but th this pearl set from Studio Katya comes with like, okay, you, you go there, little teeny tiny babies. And they're so cute, but I'm going to go with the smaller that I can find. Oh, yeah. You know what? I feel like the dimension might be needed. I see votes for pearls. So let's find the smallest ones in here. I don't really want to have a variance of size because um, I don't want to take away from the center. Oh, my gosh. Come here. I'm trying to connect out from here. And let's find another. Okay, like that. Oh, that's a nice size one. And one more. Do we think pearls is the way to go? I need another small one. There we go. Okay, like that. What do we think? Cute, huh? Yeah, definitely the pearls. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you just know. And yeah, the splatter. I just don't want to get splatter on the whole card. Like I would have done it on here. Oh, not five, Lori. Interesting. 
Hmm. But see, I feel like if I, well, you know what I could do? What if I did, and I'm just, you know, just for the sake of argument. No, I don't, I don't think I like that. I think I wanted just something to fill in the space. And here's what happens too. I feel like when I start overthinking it, um, Dallas, there's it too many. Okay. What time is it? It's 102. What if just, so see that little arrangement? What if I just took them off? Would it be okay? Would that still be the sweetest little card you ever did see? Mm. I tell you, there's not a lot of days where I don't, but what if I did one and three? We'll see what three look like, okay? Um, actually, let's do three different sizes. Might do that, but we might not. Mm. I don't know. I'm really torn. You know what, Kim? Thank you. Kim. <laughs> I, it could or it could not. Um, or now here's something that I didn't even think of. What if we put some in the wreath? Let's just see. We got the time. We're going to do the time. What if we just went around and the wreath and popped some? Hold on. Now, it might seem silly, right, to be like, what are you taking so much time? But here's the thing. When we're crafting, it, you know, just like go for it. If you if you feel like taking your time and then you just kind of walk away and say, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Because in this in this little way, oh, come on. I'm just going to look. I'm just kind of putting a little randos. And then I will look up. I promise. I will look up and see what we think. <laughs> How about in between? Oh, Gina, you mean like, oh, you mean like that? In the little in-betweens? <laughs> you know, the thing is, too, it's like, these are not state secrets that we're going to divulge and ruin. <laughs> like, someone's going to leave this. Oh, boy. Gina, I think that's it. I think that's it. I didn't even think of that. That is so it. We're, we're good. That gives me what I want. A little shine. Um, no randomness. I love it. I love it. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> and you know, here's the thing. Now, now friends, if you, if you don't love it, I just want you to know, I just want you to know, I honor the choices that we all make. I'm going to do it. I don't know. I think when I take the pictures and you see it later, let me know. I just think that gives it the balance. You know, if I had the little teeny tiny ones, I think that would be the best, but this is what I'm doing. So here we go. We are going to boop. It's going to be fast. Oh, boop. I have some cards to show you too at the end of this. Um, for those of you who boop, want to stick around, I got some beautiful cards in the mail that I'm going to share. Boop. See, here's the thing, the wreath, it gave me that perfect position to place these. Boop, Gina, you are so smart. Okay, yeah. Boop. Also, this feels very Jennifer to me, Boop, because Jennifer has this way of making something really beautiful, and that is my finished card project. So it's very open in the center, and I'm actually, I'm here for it. I think it's really fun. I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Do we got a, we do have a dual camera. That was crazy. Gina, thank you so much. Oh gosh, that was really fun. Um, so I want to show you some cards really quick before I go that I got in the mail because it is fun to share when I can't guarantee you that I will always share the cards that I get, but I have some that are actually really fun and I appreciate it. And speaking of people who like booping, hold on, hold on. I got some cards. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Now, I don't know, okay, some of these you gotta see, okay? So we're gonna take some out and we're gonna bring some in. So this card I will take pictures of. I do have most of the supplies listed, but not all of them. So 
that there you go wreath builder now just some fun things that I got in the mail and I'm not sure who they are all from this one I don't remember but look at this have a really great day cute as that oh my gosh so cute right okay setting that aside look at this cute little card happy fourth of July love it yep that's from I think that's from Tara isn't that sweet so fun okay this card's gonna blow your mind and this is from oh gosh did she not put her name on the back wait she didn't <laughs> look at this funky funky card using the Concord and Knight stuff how cool is this I, I know you're out there you have sent this to me and I keep this out because I think it's so funky Look at this beautiful card. Now this is from Sharon and Sharon, I know you sent me another one and I don't know where it is, but this is gorgeous. Like, I don't know how she did it. It's like, it's embossed, but it's like painted. The texture on it is just, oh, it's next level. Sharon, thank you so much. I think that's gorgeous. I got this beautiful, I think this is from, is this from Chris? Oh gosh, okay, I got two. This is from Chrissy. I want to make sure I get the name. Yep, Chrissy. But then look at this. She also sent that card. I mean, I literally said, whoa, when I took this out of the envelope. Love that. Here's, oh, we're falling. Here's another card. This is from, oh, Mary. Mary. Look at this. I thought to drink more wine so I can do crafty things with the corks. I literally look like that some days with my hair on top of my head. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at this. This is from someone who attended Crop and Create. And this is from Terry Lynn. And I love that it comes up and says, thank you. Thank you. So fun. I don't normally have the time, but check out this one. I love this. This is from Beth. And how cute is that? Like I thought, I want to do this card. I love how she took this pattern paper, but then die cut and framed that. That's just beautiful. And then the last card I'm going to share today before I go, this is from Margo. And I just love it. Boop, boop, boop. So there you go. I love it when I get cards from, from you. Um, I have my P.O. box always listed. Again, I can't guarantee that I will share all of them, but it is really fun to go to my post office box when I have to mail things, open that little key, and then I see all the goodness. So that is all I have for you today. I want to thank my moderators today. I want to thank Beth. I want to thank Emma for always helping out in the comments. I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer and Gina for showing up because you know what? They got things to do. But I also want to thank them for the inspiration. So I'm going to go take some pretty pictures. I will share this to the community tab. And yes, thank you so much for being here. It started out a little shaky with the blood and the sweat. But if there's not a little blood and sweat in our card making, are you really trying? Questions. Food for thought. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I will update the supplies, take some pictures, and I will see you back here on my channel tomorrow with another new video. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.